time for Ghosts and Friend Dogs. Friend Dogs in the morning. In the morning. Live, 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 live. Before our recording studio audience. Recording. Wake your ass up, Mr. Friend Dogs in the morning. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Cox and Crendor in the morning. Welcome to Tuesday, the day of twos. Uh huh. There's a bunch of twos walking down the street right now. By I the time em. this video gets up, it'll it'll be Wednesday, the day of Wens. <laughs> oh yeah. The question being, well, when is this episode actually up? <laughs> oh wait, it's not even Tuesday anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, in your time zone, it's oh, not. My. This is what happens when you sleep till like one in the afternoon. You're a mess. You're a oh, mess. Man. Well, what's on Wednesday, the day of Wens? Nobody yeah. likes Wens. Well, I want to know when. When, when you when you gonna hold my hand? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is always on <laughs> Wednesday. It's a really, uh, it's a really. I don't even know. My brain is just dead because it doesn't realize that it's Tuesday anymore. It it did realize it, and then was like, you know what? I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. What do you do before or after? Or Today? wait, after? Today? Yeah. What yeah. The- this whatever day no, it is yesterday, right now. Whatever day it is right now. Today isn't that day I was talking about. Um, really, a whole bunch of nothing. I decided I would look in on Amazon Fresh. Okay. So, for people who don't know what that is, it's Amazon Prime, except in Southern California, in Seattle, and one other place. I don't remember where. They have a service where, like, bakeries and butchers and things like that in the area will sell to you, and then Amazon will go pick it up and deliver it. Yeah. And now, it's an insane amount of money to actually subscribe to the service. I think it's like $299 a year. But just they gave, to, like, use it? Just Well, it's for the shipping stuff. So, like, uh, you would have to justify ordering a lot of stuff to have yeah. someone drive it to you constantly to make that worth the $299 a year. I don't yeah. know that I see that, but I got a free trial because... I, I, I'm an Amazon Prime member, so I got yeah. a free trial, and I was like, well, that's fine by me. And again, so, it's $24 a month. That's not that bad. But still, I would have to justify buying stuff, so I'm looking on there right <laughs> yeah. now, and I mean, because really, I can just go to the grocery store down the street, right? It yeah. It's, it seems silly. It but seems like it's good for old people. It, it, I think what it's for is douchebags. Because everything on there is really hoity-toity. Like, uh, I've got to get my cheeses. And my, <laughs> hold on. I'll log, in, I'll log in right now and let you know. Oh, so, yes. But basically, I'm like, well, you know what? I'll give it, I'll give it a go. I'll see what it's like. And yeah. so I have a free 30-day trial. And so I just started ordering things from there. I ordered $66 worth of stuff. We'll see if that's justified. I got about a week's worth of groceries from there. Everything from fruits and vegetables to meat to, uh, like, a loaf of bread from, like, an artisan bakery. Oh, wow. yes. Oh, yes. So the refrigerator will have food in it. Eh, for about, you know, it'll whittle down over a week. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'll, I'll, tr- I'll try it, and we'll see what it's like. I assume it might have its drawbacks. Like, I'm worried that if I order a vegetable from it, that it... W- like I won't get fresh, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. they'll give me junk, and I, and I, like that's why I like being able to pick out my own fruits and vegetables and things like that. Well, how fast do it. they ship it? You select what day you get it. So uh, yeah, I could get it tomorrow. I could get it whenever I wanted to. I wanted to get it Thursday because I'm busy tomorrow, today, whatever day it is. That's the day I'm busy. <laughs> yeah. Well, because if you pick a vegetable and you pick like two days from now, it's gonna be two days old unless they're shipping it that day. I I I think they they do it that way. Oh. The day where they ship it that day, they just wait mm-hmm. two days. Okay. Yeah. So they say from, from when you get it. Like, so sometimes when I ordered, uh, let, let's go to my past purchases so I can show you what I got. All right. So one avocado, ripe, large. <laughs> <laughs> Organic yellow bananas. Okay. Right? Some strawberries. Yeah. Yes. Uh, sunflower natural bakery honey loaf sunflower honey loaf yes it's like the wheat. bread's made out of sunflower 
it's no, I think that's the brand. Oh. Uh, honey whole wheat loaf, uncut. It's an uncut loaf of bread. I gotta cut it oh, myself. Damn. I'm okay yeah, with that's that. One of the, that's, a, that's an OG loaf. Right? And then I got uh, some some meats. I got three three Cajun jalapeno sausages. Ooh. I know. I'm going to put it on the loaf. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to cut some some of the bread and make a like a fake hot dog with it and eat that. Um oh, that's better than a real hot dog. I know. And less fake. Like, I'm trying to come up with, like, things. Anyway, so that's some of the stuff that I ordered. I ordered, like, you know, just a bunch of random things. And then I ordered stuff because, <gasps> Crendor, I made a pizza. Oh, yeah. It's I made a man, pizza. pizza. Yeah, and so that was stuff that I found at, like, my local grocery store. This thing, yeah. I, can, I bought all the ingredients, like, the douchey ingredients to make a real pizza. Like, before yeah. I got, like, I got, you know, like, dough. I didn't make dough because I, I don't, I'm not, I don't care that much. And yeah. But... But now I have like I'm an old Italian man dough, and then I'm gonna, and then I got sauce, and then I like I bought all the ingredients on here to make it. So I'm yeah. gonna make a pizza. I'm very excited. Did you? You got like the like what kind of dough? So you got they have they they like sell the pre-made doughs, or they have like the dough. This was a pre-made. The- this was a pre-made dough from a uh, from the Ralphs down the street. So okay. it probably wasn't like the best yeah. dough it could have been, well, but it was it was delicious. It was, it was fine. Like, yeah, I bought the grocery store brand like pre-made dough. You like roll it out yourself and do all that. And you're yeah, like, I'm nice. not I'm not a fan of uh, big doughy pizza, so I made mine really thin. Yeah, and then I put sauce and then cheese and then I uh, read how to make a margarita pizza, and so I put like the little like green stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the green stuff. I threw some green stuff on there, and then that was it. Now, I didn't put tomatoes because I don't like, for some reason, I love tomato sauce. I love ketchup. I don't like cooked tomato chunks. Yeah. Cold, cold tomato's fine. You can stick a tomato, yeah. and, and you can even stick tomato with a hamburger, and that's fine. But, like, cooked tomato, not a fan. I don't it know It gets kind of, like, mushy. Yeah, not a fan of that. So yeah. I made like a margarita pizza minus the tomato with tomato sauce. It was delicious. It was fine. It was like a small little personal pizza, and I had a, it was good. Yeah. So I assumed I'd make another. I'd step up my game. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, yeah. so with Amazon now Fresh, I want to make a pizza. It was a good. Uh, you know what? I felt good about it. I felt. I yeah. think I'm. I think I'm becoming an adult. Oh man! Now that I know how to make. <laughs> Pizza and a potato and cereal. Oh, and macaroni and cheese <gasps> and grilled cheese and, and quesadillas. That's I got all, all those about. things. Once really? You start learning to cook, you become an adult. I got all of it down. Anyway, so the things here. Uh, like- oh, I made a sweet potato. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was at the store, they had sweet potatoes. And I was like, I want a sweet potato. So I bought one and I looked up how to bake a sweet potato. And the one guy's like, chop it into like little chips. So I did that. So you like cut, like, little, you make chips out of potato, the sweet potato, but you don't like separate it from the potato. And then you put stuff over that, like brown sugar and butter and like maple syrup. And then you put on some like, uh, oh some my salt. God, that and then you put good. it in the oven and you bake it and you pull it out and it's like, it's amazing. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Hmm, now I'm mad um, I didn't do that. You should have got a sweet potato. Should have got a sweet potato. See the next adventure. So, apparent, so this is like when you go there, when you go to Amazon Fresh, there's groceries, there's household, like it's everything you can find on Amazon, right? Yeah. But then, the cool thing is they have neighborhood shops and restaurants. Hmm. And so you can order stuff from like what's down the street. And I don't know if these are real shops or not. I have yet to figure that out. I assume some of them are, but some <laughs> yeah. of them seem like places that only exist online. <laughs> like what? First Class Foods. And First Class Foods looks like the people that, that ship to, like, I don't know, Walmart. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Like, their, their logo is not the logo you would see on the side of a restaurant. It's a logo yeah, you would see like when you're ordering corporate. to. Yeah, yeah, when you're ordering to stock your restaurant. Yeah. So I don't that's think that's necessarily is. local, but then there's like the cheese store of Beverly Hills, and I click on that, and it's like, you could get a old Quebec cheddar block, eight yeah. ounces, or yeah. perchance you'd like a fondue for two package. Would you care for any 
Uh, Edmund Fallier Dijon mustard? I don't like Dijon that much. Or perhaps you'd like a pasta meal kit penne with marinara sauce and Reggiano and a bunch of other things. Like, they have all sorts of stuff on here. And then people oh. review it. And so, like, this, uh, this is very, like... Get your Point Reyes Blue Bay cheese. But, like, okay. So if you order directly from... I feel like you could probably order, like, the Walmart Corporation shipping people's stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's even cheaper than if you were to go buy it at Walmart because you're getting it from the source. I imagine that's the case. I just don't know. Like, there's a lot of stuff. Like, there's Santa Monica Seafood and Huntington Meats and things like that, which are, you know, I assume are local because those are places nearby, but they could yeah. not be. They could just be places that exist only on the Internet. Like, yeah. I don't know. Then there's bakeries and desserts. And mind you, that's the biggest category. <laughs> the yeah. biggest category in here is ever is. There's macaroons. There's some place called Mrs. Beasley's. <gasps> what does Mrs. Beasley's have? Mrs. Beasley. Mrs. Beasley has... And <laughs> Mrs. Beasley. Oh, this looks like not even real stuff. Mrs. Beasley, your stuff looks like stuff I'd buy at Walmart. Get out of here. What's she making? Like cookies that are too perfectly shaped, stuff like that. Ugh, I don't Ms. like Beasley. that. Beasley. And then there's things like wildflower cupcakes and weird stuff like that. And then there's beverages. And there's a lot of... Uh, apparently every coffee place in the entire city is all about uh, selling their ground coffee on here. Yeah. Ooh, Intelligentsia coffee. Ooh. Oh, that's really good coffee. Yeah, it is. I've had that a lot. Intelligentsia. It's really good. But they only yeah, sell... Man. They only sell... <gasps> they sell El Diablo Dark Breakfast Blend. Oh, my God. I like that. That coffee's from hell. There's one called Black Cat. The <laughs> Black Cat coffee. Wow, El Diablo. One. El Diablo has, has uh, four stars, and it's rated by 17 people on here. Oh, whoa. The people it doesn't love match it. up to David Lynch coffee. I don't think so. I don't think anything does. Then there's a place called Fico. Fico, Fico. artisan Italian creations, handcrafted by chefs. And you can Hand like buy stuff on here. Handcrafted. Like you can get. It looks like, like you can get like meat boards and stuff. I don't know why you want boards. any of this. Yeah, like whole things of meat. Like a board. I thought it's like a board made of meat. No, it's like a, It's like you get like a little box, and in that box is a bunch of stuff. Oh, so it's like one of those loot crate things, just a meat box. Yeah, but it's filled with different Italian meats. Like there's, like, so there's a bunch of stuff on here that is, I guess, worth trying, but I don't know if it's worth paying a large amount of money for. Yeah, I don't right? think it's worth it, but yeah, maybe like, somebody that really likes Diablo coffee and meat boxes will really be into it. Yeah, I don't know that it's worth it, but I have a free trial, so I'm going to I'm going to use it and yeah. see what's up and report to the people. I'm reporting to the people. I'll let you know if it sucks or not. Speaking of speaking of something that doesn't suck, good transition, Jesse. <laughs> a few a, a few podcasts ago, remember when we when I said you really should watch Twin Peaks. Mm -hmm. Cuz that is David Lynch at his finest. And I said mm -hmm. you should watch that. Guess what's coming back to TV? No way. Twin Peaks. They're doing a no nine-episode run on Showtime. And here's the crazy... Are you ready for this? Here's the crazy I'm thing. Ready. At the end of Twin Peaks, right? One of the yep. characters says to the other character, I'll see you in 25 years. Whoa. And it's 25 years! Actually, in 2016, it's 25 years. But it's close to 25 Whoa. years! Whoa. That's some David Lynch-level mind-blowing stuff. David Lynch waited 25 years. <laughs> he knew. waited 25 years. He knew. Years. He said... <laughs> They aren't ready for it. I'll see you in 25 years. And that's where we're at. He probably just went into that studio and he's like, it's been 25 years, Harvey. You're going to allow me to create my TV series yet again. And he's like, yes, David Lynch. I bet that's how it happened. You don't. Oh, man. I want I want you to. <laughs> All right. I'm going to send I'm going to send you a link. OK, this is this is what happens at, at in Twin Peaks at the Black Lodge. Get okay. ready. Get ready because it's full David Lynch. I'm going to send you a link. Oh, man. I haven't seen any of this in so long. We need, oh, when you come out here next time, we need to watch every episode back uh, yeah. to back. Are you ready for this? Yes. Watch that Twin video Peaks and be blown marathon. away. All right. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Yep. That's what <laughs> I told you. This is the show for you, buddy. This is the show for me. I don't think I've ever seen a show more for me, unless it was like Ikea television. 
That is, oh yeah, even the ending where it's like, it's crazy pants. And there's like a creepy little midget man. Oh yeah, no, that is, that. look, we're going to watch, don't look into the show. Don't right. learn anything about the show. We're going to watch it together. When you come out here, we're going to watch, we're going to stream it. Stream we're going to watch us streaming, watching the show. <laughs> well, we're not going to watch us. We're going to, well, I guess we could. We'll have a, we're yeah. have a camera on us while we watch the show. Yeah. And we're going to stream it for oh. everybody when you come out here. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to marathon it. Oh, man. How many, how many seasons are there? Uh, there's it, one and a half. It made it, it made it into a second <laughs> season, and then just pe- it got canceled. Then they made a movie. Oh. Yeah. A movie no one gave a shit about. <laughs> so basically oh, all David Lynch movies. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yes. By the way. Yes. On Sunday, I went, uh, I went golfing. And after we were done golfing. Wait, wait, wait. What? Yeah. Don't bury the lead here. You went golfing? Yeah, I went golfing. With who? My friend, Plaza. Was this like, is this like when two dudes go golfing and they're like, hey, man, we're golfing. Or were you like full real golfing? It was a little in, in between. We start out pretty intense, like, yeah, we're going to do it. And then we end just like, whatever. I mean, I almost got par on like half the holes. If my Almost. putting wasn't bad. Yeah. That's besides the point. Okay. I, mean, I don't I, know. It I sounds beat like him, the I point won. to me. <laughs> I beat him. I won. And it was great. But here's the thing. Afterwards, they were having a mini Oktoberfest. And there was all these old people there. And there was like a bunch of families there. Because nobody else was like golfing. Because it was like 60 degrees. And they're like, it's too cold to golf. And I was like, Pff. But... And we went to the Oktoberfest thing, and there's this band of old people, and they all brought their instruments. One guy had an accordion, one guy had a drum set, one guy had, like, the tuba, and the one guy, he had this giant horn, and he would be like, and he would just keep playing it. And then everybody was like, play the song, and it would be the typical, like, like October fest music, like, but then he would have like horn solos and he got really into it because I'm pretty sure he was really drunk and he was just like, and he would keep going around the place, like going up to different people and doing it and be like, What's going on? and then he'd just like start dancing and he would just keep walking around, being like. <laughs> and he did that for like 10 minutes. And we were just like, what is happening? And people just start being like, how long is he going to go for? And then he just, he finally stopped. And his face was really red. But you could tell he lived for that moment. Because he, he like, that was his horn. He kept that giant horn in his house and brought it here every year. And you knew this was his life. Can we make a Bavarian song for for everyone? So that someone, okay. can, someone can edit it into an amazing song. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. I'll be. I'll be the boop boop. Okay. Boop 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 boop. What is that? What is that? I don't know. You. You were like. What was that? I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> an instrument. <laughs> mm-hmm, it was certainly a something. <laughs> all right, enough of all that. Let's go all to right. Chopy Copper 7 in the sky with Crendor. Crendor, how's that traffic out there? Traffic today is going uh, as you would expect. Uh, traffic on a Tuesday, Wednesday ish day to be going. Uh, right now I see Pedro Jonas buying some uh, Oktoberfest brews. Good for him. I also see Grimlock. He's being uh, stuck in gridlock, <laughs> as you might say down there on the uh, hip side of the kids and their lingo. Uh, there's also Hedwin, and he's just uh, cutting the lawn for all the all the old people that can't cut their lawn because they're out at Oktoberfest drinking and having a good time. Back to you. Thanks, Crendor. Now let's go over to Crendor at the weather desk. How's that weather, Crendor? Oh, man, let me tell you something about weather. Please do. It's exciting. I, I disagree. 
So since it's October, why don't we go on down to uh, Spooky Brook Golf Course, New Jersey? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Spooky sure. Okay. Spooky Brook Golf Course, also fitting to our golf theme. Uh, today there, it's going to be raining. Uh, if you're going to be teeing off, the golf index is excellent. Wait, what? On, yeah. If you're teeing off in the rain, it's good. <laughs> yeah. You're sending people wait, to no. their deaths. You're that's sending a, people to their deaths. That's for Thursday. For Today, uh, it's uh, a golf index of three, which is poor. I was about to say, you are sending people to go die. <laughs> Be sure to hold those metal rods up high in the air, kids. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be... It's going to be a poor day to golf there, so don't go 92% humidity. It's going to be humid, too. It's a bad day for golf in Spooky Brook. Okay, speaking of golf, let's move on to sports. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I got some sports news for you. Uh-huh. Josh Beckett's going to retire from baseball. I don't know who that is. <laughs> uh, he's a pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Still don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't even know what baseball is anymore. <laughs> All I seem to recall is a long time ago, there were nine young kids on a sand lot, <laughs> yep. and, and they played a game. And was a, a guy was being killed by Smalls. By Smalls? You're killing me, oh, Smalls. The, oh, yeah, the sand lot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> they should just... Did we ever talk about how they should just give all the baseball players steroids again? I miss that. I miss when when they were they had giant heads and like weird bodies. I know. And they would always hit home runs. You know what? If you're gonna go into sports, you're there for our amusement. Yeah, you're there for our amusement, and we should just jack you up on on like football players. You should be like Bane's. Everyone's a yeah. Bane, and you just beat, you murder each other. Where's Murder Ball? You figure yeah, we would have had that by ball? now. Can we get robots to do that? If people want to do it, let's get robots. This Make year, robots our entertainment. Yeah. Oh, man. I can't wait till robots are the entertainment. I can't wait, too, because then the robots will, like, kill each other. Oh, it'll be great. And they're That's robots. They shines. Won't, yeah, they won't develop any sentience and then <laughs> regret and hate <laughs> us for that. RG4 cannot tear ACLs for he lacks one. Right? Nelson Cruz was the home run leader this year with 40 home runs. Uh, 40? 40. Remember when it was like 1,000 home runs? Barry Bonds hit like 80 home runs when he was jacked up on steroids. They he also, doubled that. Also, the bats were made of tree trunks. <laughs> yeah. And the, ball, the balls were made of human heads. It was an old sacrificial rite. Single season. <laughs> the... Glorious days. <laughs> when oh, baseball was baseball. So get this. Barry Bonds hit 73 home runs in 2001. He almost doubled that. Mark McGuire, when he was jacked up on steroids, 70 and 98. Sammy Sosa, 66. I remember Those, seeing Barry Bonds. Uh, when My parents, huge Pirate fans. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember seeing Barry Bonds play for the Pirates a long time ago. And that versus him when he's with the Giants, not... Not even the same person. Mm -hmm. Like, he was yeah. definitely on drugs. Like, like something happened. He was, like, super skinny. He was, like, a stick. Yeah. And then he just became, like, <laughs> <laughs> What was that? What happened? <laughs> he just blew up like Augustus Gloop. <laughs> <laughs> but, but on steroids. Mm -hmm. his, his candy is steroids. That's, I mean, that's, that's, that's all I know. <laughs> Yep. All now right. Now it's, now it's boring. That's sports. That's sports. It's, it's boring. <laughs> All right. What's our big news? I can't even say <laughs> The big news is. What's, what's the big news? <laughs> what's the, the big news? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I picked out an array of stories. You always do this. You have to make me choose. Uh. All right. Jason Garnett treated for 17 hour erection. Uh huh. That's, <laughs> good. That's also... a good story. We also have mom burglarizes cars at school, claims she's looking for ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> what school is that? All right, this is the one we're doing then. Uh, apparently, there's growing concern that 
Islamist state of Iraq and Syria could attack the United States from within. Cops just don't believe the terrorists will start by hiding in cars on Mississippi school property. That allegedly didn't stop Lisa Carol Roche from using ISIS as an alibi. The Hurley woman is accused of burglarizing cars in the parking lot of her children's school, then telling officers she's looking for ISIS terrorists. Roche, 41, was allegedly caught stealing sunglasses and other items from cars. East Central High School, Fox 10 reports. She remained in Jackson County Adult Detention Center Friday. She's been charged previously with carelessly or careless driving, felony fraud, and felony embezzlement. Look, she faces up to pri- uh, look, five years in prison. Look, baby girl, you're 41 years old. It is time to grow up. She's also... I don't... <laughs> look at this picture. You... Girl, you are 41 years old. It is time you grew the hell up and stopped trying to steal stuff. All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those tats. Yeah, no, no. She, There's no saving that woman. She's, <laughs> she's yeah. gone. Yeah, she's no, long she's, gone. She's gone. She's gone. Long gone. Here's the, here's the good part. Of, here's, yeah, here's the part of the story that we all need to focus on. Her kids mm-hmm. are still in high school. Yeah, if, yeah. if your mom looked like that, I would I would – Praise you for being able to stay in school. You should be a felon. You sh- you if should if your felon. mom looked like that, you should be in jail right now yeah. with her. So job, the fact kids. that her kids are in, still in school, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Good on them. Yeah. Up oh, and here, this is a good story for our Japanese stuff. <laughs> Japanese <laughs> pop music idols are usually forbidden by their managers to date or marry lest they disappoint their fans, but one J-pop band called the Happening Girls is changing the game. The four members are planning to date and possibly marry their fans while wearing bikinis. What? Yep. The The Happening (laughs) Girls. I'm Googling that. The Happening Girls. The Happening Girls. (laughs) The Happening Girls. The okay, Tokyo continue based... that continue that story. Go on. <laughs> the Tokyo-based quartet, known for wearing two-piece bathing suits in public, has just started a reality show on Kando TV, where fans audition to be potential partner for one of the happening girls. We are positively encouraging our fans to meet and date the girls. That's the, <laughs> As the voice you've chosen. <laughs> show spokesman Taruki Aoki said, according to the Daily Mail, how they got on and how far they go is up to them but they are contracted to let us into their private life and share in the relationship. That sounds like a really shitty contract to me. Ooh. The current lineup is made up Ooh. of... <laughs> Manaka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I thought it would be like like fake Korean K-pop stars where they're all plastic surgery to look wonderful. Mm-hmm. No, there's no plastic surgery. <laughs> Zero plastic surgery. It's more like the nothing's happening, girls. Am I right? I mean, they're beautiful. They're just, you know, not fake beautiful. Yeah, and that's what I beautiful. that's what I want in my celebrities. <laughs> that's what you're looking for. Yeah, I want like you made yourself through hours of surgery and hating your your appearance <laughs> into beautiful. Yeah. Well, I mean. If you want to be in the Happening Girls uh, reality show, ads are coming up that say you have to live in Tokyo and be between the ages of 17 and 30, and most important, have no objections to wearing bikinis in public. Wait. Oh, 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 that's that's to be in it. I thought you went to marry them. I was like, I mean, I'll do it. That's a weird request. But if you want me in a bikini, I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You know, if you're going to marry one, you got to get used to them wearing a bikini in public. Yeah, no, I mean, if you want me to join in. You'd be the, what would your band be called? It wouldn't be the Happening Girl, then. It'd have to be changed to, like, like a Hootie and the Blowfish. It's got to be, like, Jesse and the Happenings. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember there was an old How to Make Your Band thing. I think it was, it was, it was for, like, a jazz, a blues band. Oh, yeah, blues band. How to Make Your Blues Band. Pick yeah. a disease. All Don't right. do it yet. Have it in your mind. Oh, okay. Pick a disease. Pick a fruit or vegetable. Okay. Actually, maybe it's just a fruit. Pick a fruit. Okay. And then pick a the last name of a president. The Ebola Apple Obama. That's that's your that's, <laughs> that's your thing. <laughs> mine 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 was was good. Mine was called Cold Peach Roosevelt. 
<laughs> that is a good one. Cold Peach Roosevelt. My, I, and then because I liked it so much, I, I thought it would be Cold Peach Roosevelt and the New Deal. That's my band's name. <laughs> is that a good band name? I mean, it's not as good as Ebola Apple Obama. But... Cold Peach Roosevelt. You can do it with anything like um, syphilis. syphilis. <laughs> 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 It's very topical. We're number yep. two in syphilis related podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, all right. So syphilis, um, syphilis, kiwi, kiwi. Kennedy. Ken- there we go. Syphilis, kiwi, Kennedy. That's a nice one. That rolls off your tongue, right? There. Then we can do uh, hemorrhoids, Polio. pear, uh, Monroe. Hemorrhoids <laughs> Pear Monroe. That's a good name. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good. Hemorrhoids Pear Monroe. What about Polio Pineapple? You try uh, to look for a P. There's no P president. <laughs> Roosevelt. Nope. We already did. We already did Roosevelt. You oh, got to yeah, know other did. presidents. Uh, Polio Pineapple Lincoln. Ah. Uh, Wait, no. There's got to be a P president. No, there is no P president. Yes, there is. There is no P president. It's got to be. There is no P president. Oh, the polio pineapple bush. (laughs) (laughs) That just sounds like a bush you don't want to eat from. (laughs) That'd be the album cover. It's just like a bush that has polio but grows pineapples, and if you eat the pineapples, you get polio. That is really sad. (laughs) (laughs) What about, what about bronchitis banana... Buchanan. Buchanan. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. I still think Cold Peach Roosevelt's a better one. It's the best one so cold, far. Yeah. Cold Peach Roosevelt. I like that. Yeah. What about, oh, Washington? What if you tied it in with a cherry? A cherry's a fruit, right? Che- like, uh, oh! Yeah. Gum disease, cherry Washington. <laughs> yep. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is that's pretty, pretty good. good. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, so I want to get back to that first story before we end here. What happened to a dude with 17-hour erection? Leave your band names in the comments. I want to read them. Uh, Jason Garnett will always remember last Friday. Garnett 23 <laughs> woke up. That's an amazing <laughs> intro. <laughs> will always remember it. Jason Garnett will always remember it. But for the rest of us, it was just Friday. <laughs> that morning, he woke up with an erection that refused to go down. In fact... Garnett's penis stood up at attention for more than 17 hours. Why? What happened? At first, Garnett wasn't worried much about it and went to his job at a hotel in Harrogate, UK. But around lunchtime, he became concerned when taking an ice bath and going for a jog didn't alter the situation. He realized something was up. (laughs) Question, question, how many hours a day does this man work? Uh, When did he go into work? Well... It says eight hours after waking up, Garnett told his roommate about his problems. So yeah, but woke. no, but he, but he, but he, he, he had a he had a boner. Yeah, and then he went to work, right? Mm-hmm. But then he went and then took an ice bath and went for a jog. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he maybe worked. I'll give him a six hour shift. I'll give him six right. hours. Yeah, All give right, him six hours. I'm trying to I'm trying to put the times together here. I'm just trying to make detective. sense of this. Yeah. You should have seen the look on his face when I told him what was wrong, Garnett told the son. He was in hysterics at first, but then he realized how serious the situation was. Garnett was taken to a hospital and was diagnosed with priapism, a rare condition where erections do not subside. It is not caused by sexual desire or stimulation, but untreated, it can, ca- it can permanently damage the penis. Okay, but what, what caused it? Uh, like I said, doctors had to drain two pints of blood from his penis to reduce the pressure on his organ. Okay, but work. what caused... I don't need the details of them needling <laughs> his dick. I need to know <laughs> what caused it. Uh, they say that misuse of prescription drugs and alcohol and drug abuse can cause it. Uh, spinal cord injury, blood clots, poisonous venom from scorpions or black widow spiders. In the dick? I don't know. If a a scorpion stings me in the dick, I'm just going to count myself as dead. Because how does scorpion get there? That's all I I want to know. Apparently the most common cause of it is sickle cell anemia. Really? Yep. Uh, You know what? I'm going to say this guy's got drug problems. 
I'm going to say he's got drug He probably was drinking too. and drugging, and he woke up in the morning. And he was like, man, I'm so hard. <laughs> uh, they also say it's a side effect of drugs such as uh, Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, all those, Prozac, Zyprexa, Coumadin, Welbutrin. That's why I'll never take those. Nope. I'd rather I'd rather have to admit that I I am old and can never get hard again <laughs> yep. than risk having my dick explode off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd rather be able to keep it. Yeah, I'd rather have I'd rather have <laughs> I don't know. I was going to come up with a creative name. I'd rather have yeah. Cold Peach Roosevelt down there. <laughs> I'd rather be that old man that just, you know, goes to the park and feeds the birds than goes eats, goes and eats lunch at the... As my I, wife is left completely unsatisfied <laughs> and we don't talk to each other, I'd rather be that guy than like, uh. have my dick explode <laughs> off. You're here first. What, what walk of shame would you rather have? The walk of shame of, uh, like, oh, I can't have sex anymore and I'm old, or... The walk of shame where you went to the doctor and you're like 85 and you're like, doctor, my wiener's been hard today. <laughs> you tell me. You tell me which walk of shame you would rather have. You know what I mean? After that, I don't think you're going to want to have sex anymore. Right? After that, your lessons will be learned. So, that's all I'm Go saying. Go along with nature. I'm avoiding problems. Nature says problems. you're done. Say, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> Speaking of done, that's it for the podcast. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody, <laughs> listening, whatever you're doing. And, yeah. as always, to be continued. Uh-huh.